Hey friend, it's Muhammad Musaddi. Welcome to my channel, Tutorials for Everyone. Guys, in today's video, I'm gonna tell you a couple of things on FMC. So first thing is that that how you can get the packet captures from the FMC and how to use the packet tracer in FMC. So these couple of things are we going to discuss in today's video. So if you are having version 6.2.0 or higher in FMC, then you will see the these features in FMC because previously these were available on the CLI on just the CLI. So what you need to do you need to first log in to the FMC and go to the devices and the device management tab here you will see that what are your FTDs are uh, I mean you will see your FTDs linked uh, with the FMC so whatever your primary FTD is that you have to go into the troubleshooting icon right in the right in the right corner and go to the advanced troubleshooting once you do that you will see that there are the four tabs that is first, first one is the file download so here if you are uh, you know getting the packet captures from the CLI then you can download the packet captures from here and the third tab is that packet tracer so here you can see that they, we have like multiple options uh, for, at the right top we have the protocol which we are which we are using TCP on the right side we have to select the interface and then the source IP similarly source port if you are willing to do that I'm writing here one two three four five which includes all the ports and secondly on the on the destination we I have to put some destination IP which we, I'm going to do and here you can see that my destination IP is 117 dot I have to confirm is that 20 dot 19 or 15 yeah and some destination port which is 80 uh, and once you hit that button you will see that the packet tracer command runs and you will see that there are the different phases and all the phases are showing right in the FMC and at the end you will see the result that whether your traffic is going through or it is blocking and every phase has showing its own results uh, if, if it is uh, using some NAT rule if it is using some access control rule so all the all the traffic flow is showing right in the FMC and the fourth tab is that now here we are going to capture the trace capture the packets obviously with the trace so here you have to set the name what I would cap to and similarly the interface from where the this is the source interface by the way and then the now because the protocol is IP it is and then the source IP destination IP but you can't select the source port or the destination port in the captures in FMC so this is a limitation in FMC but you can do that on CLI so you have to run the just you have to select start and you will see that the captures are up and running and in the in the couple of minutes if the traffic has been initiated from the source IP then you will see the traces and all the captures in this in the in the FMC right here so we have to wait and we have to initiate the traffic from the source IP and uh, and we have to refresh that and let me do that uh, yeah we got the we got the packet captures and similarly all the phases are included in these packet captures as well and um, obviously these packet captures will show that whether the traffic is going and which interface has been using which access control rule is being using and similarly the NAT rule and all or all other things as well so so uh, so in this way you can see that that and I, I can show you that uh, on the FTD that if you run show capture command you will see that the capture which we have configured on the FMC is being showing in the CLI as well of the FTD and uh, how you can save these packet captures first you need to stop these captures by clicking here and then right at the right corner you will see that there is an option of save so I'm saving these captures in PCAP and once I hit the save button you will see that the packets will be saved and I can analyze these captures in Wireshark or any other you know and now I'm going to clear these captures and then obviously I'll delete these captures so that uh, yeah once you see that once I've cleared that the packet captures has gone and now I'm deleting these captures so I hope you will like this video and if you do don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the like button and share this video with your friends so uh, you can see that this is all I have in today's video. Thank you so much for watching it. Stay tuned